Hey, what's going on guys? I'm doing an update tutorial on a previous tutorial I did where I'm showing how to get Rococo mocap uh, live streamed into Unreal Engine 5.1. I actually just found out that there's a, a much easier and faster way to do this. It's still in an experimental branch of the plugin, uh, but it's actually really cool. So you can do exactly what I just did, but way better and way faster. You'll get your character retargeted Onto into um, Unreal Engine with live retargeting capabilities by using the Rococo Studio controls, and also it's just going to be like it'll take you five minutes to do. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. First things first, you're going to go to um, make sure you have the the newest plugin installed, and you know you're going to have to go to the GitHub uh, Rococo Studio GitHub. And here's the plugin. Make sure this is the one you have installed. If you don't, you can actually, um, you know, manually install this. So just download the zip file, extract it, and then put that folder into your project folder, which is let's say here under plugins. You'll put that folder right in here, like I have here. Open that up. There's a folder called binaries, and this is where you're going to download the files that I'll provide to you at the, in the description of this video, um, those binaries will need to be dropped into the binaries folder. So you'll see it. Um, download it and put it in here. Unzip it though before you put it in here. Okay. Replace this folder. Once that's done, open up your project and then we're going to go into Rococo Studio. What you'll do is, you know, you have a scene open and what you're going to do is first make sure you have your actor already in here. Um, but right here, you're going to add a character. Okay, I'll provide this textured stormtrooper because um, the one I downloaded from Sketchfab, I actually had to put the textures on through Blender. All right, so just make sure you know your characters are textured before you import in here. Import that character. You'll see it right there. I'm going to drag this character onto my actor profile. Okay, and immediately you'll kind of see like there's something I don't like about the way his arms are sort of tight like that. So I'm gonna just correct this. And there's a retargeting options when you click on this up here. Adjust arm. Just want to bring these arms out just a little bit. Maybe even like have the arms rolled out a little bit. Uh, I can also adjust the shoulders. Uh, I want the shoulders to be down, like forward a little bit, like it's more muscular. Stormtroopers should be pretty fit, I would think. Okay. So now what I'll do is, you know, we've got this character live retargeted in here. Go up here, make sure this is checked on. And we'll just play one of these clips, but just letting you know, if you're in your suit, you can actually be doing this live in real time. Um, here I'm going to play back the animation, which is essentially the same thing. I'm streaming this data. So now I'll move this. Now let's get Unreal Engine open. Close that. Okay, now I'm in Unreal. Um, you'll you'll want to make sure the Rococo Studio plugin is installed or activated. Check that on. As well as Live Link. Okay. Then you'll open up Live Link. Um, I have it here, but let me just show you Windows, Virtual Production, Live Link. Go to Source, Rococo Studio. And it'll, you'll notice it looks a little different from before. So I'm going to select that. And now you see this is my Stormtrooper texture body streaming in now. Okay. And boom. Okay, it's not as easy as this, but let me show you um, kind of like what would happen. Um, import your character. The same mesh that you import into Rococo Studio. All right, bring that in, and that's where I have right here. It's a skeletal mesh. And then you're going to go right click, create animation blueprint. Um, I don't know, my, I'm going to call mine tutorial because I already made one. But anyways, go into the animation blueprint. 
here. Right click, live link pose, and then connect this. But don't forget to change this. You'll see this is a drop down. If everything is connected correctly, um, you'll sh you should be able to select that, compile, and boom, it's already working. Okay, you don't even need to drag in the Rococo receiver or anything like that um, as what you might be used to if you have done this the long way. Um, but you'll still need to create a, a blueprint, all right? So go to blueprint. I mean, you don't have to, you can actually use the skeletal mesh, but um, if you are doing something a little bit more elaborate, like connecting weapons and all that, you'll want to create a blueprint. Just call it tutorial for now. Open that up. Add the skeletal mesh, which is going to be the stormtrooper. All right. Now, in animation mode, make sure this is use animation blueprint. Anim class. You'll choose. The, um, the one that you just made. And just like that, it's working. Compile. Now if I just drag that blueprint in, it's already anim- oh, actually, no it's not. Um, so for it to be animated, you actually have to hit simulate. And now um, the data is streaming through. All right. So this is pretty much what I did in my last tutorial, but as you can see, this was much faster. I didn't have to create a body map or anything like that, and the retargeting is much more precise than what I made in, in using that body map, because I noticed in my body map, the fingers, the pose, you know, if you don't get that just right, it's not gonna look um, correct. So this is all done in Rococo Studio, but it'll stream perfectly onto your character, as long as you're using the same mesh. And now you can do the same thing as I did in the last video, you know, create a, um, you record this animation using Take Recorder, add a, a camera into your scene. Let me just go through that so you guys can get the full experience. Uh, cinematics, Take Recorder. And now if I have this blueprint, I'll drag blueprint into here. And now if I just hit record, I, mean, I can actually record all three of them if I wanted to. And this one in here, and this one in here. Got three stormtroopers. Okay, now I just hit record. Boom, it's recording. And like I said, you can actually retarget and, and make adjustments to the way the, the body is looking right here. So if you do have a different character that you're working with, and you know the arms need to be moved up more, you could do all of that in Rococo Studio. Uh, but once I've recorded that, you, you'll see there's a folder called Cinematics. Takes, and this is the newest one. It will automatically generate a folder. Sorry, well, my wife is back in there. Um, but here, now you have an army of stormtroopers. If I play back, this is actually what, you know, what all of that was. Right, look, if I play back this, there, there's a set of stormtroopers back here. They're basically, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, and then from here you can add a camera to give it a more cinematic now you have your stormtroopers here. Adjust the focus. Change the focal length. And now you have it. And then you know from here you can build out your scene, build the environment, and then you can render this as a movie by clicking here. And then you'll do all of that. But that's pretty much it. Leave a comment and let me know what you think.